you're going to find the solubility of your unknown liquid. So the unknown liquid is the 151 lab unknown. You're going to identify it by um, three different physical properties. That's going to be solubility, which we're doing first, the density, and the boiling point, which those will come in a few minutes. So in my first test tube, I already have um, some of my unknown liquid. What I'm going to do is I want to test the solubility with ethanol, and I'm also going to test the solubility with um, distilled water. So we'll do ethanol first. So I have a little dropper bottle of ethanol. And what I'm going to do is I already have mine. I have enough in there so that I can so I can see it. Okay, so it's about two finger widths. I'm gonna put a probably about that much of ethanol in there as well. Then I'm going to put a stopper in my test tube and I'm going to shake it up so I can see that, so I can see if those two liquids are soluble or not. So think about what it's going to look like if you have two liquids that are soluble in each other or if you have two liquids that are insoluble in each other or partially soluble. Um, so you can think about what those two things would look like. Okay, so I've now added my ethanol, so it's not mixed up very well. What I wanna do is I want to stopper it. I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit. Um, make sure that you shake it up away from your face. You don't want it to build up any pressure and blow up in your face. And I'll just kind of take that off and then I can look at it. Okay, so think about what you should see if these two liquids were soluble or insoluble. So I'm seeing here just one, it looks like one continuous liquid. Okay, moving on to the um, solubility of our unknown liquid again, and this time we're going to use distilled water. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna add some distilled water, shake, put that stopper in it, shake it up, and see what the solubility is. So there's a place on your report sheet that you can record your solubilities. Um, so again, I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit, just to make sure that they get all mixed up. Now here again, I have water and the unknown liquid. Okay, so you can decide if it's soluble, insoluble, um, or partially soluble. That's what you should fill out on your report sheet. The solubility of your unknown with cyclohexane and Also, the solubility of naphthalene will be given to you, so you can check the PowerPoint for this lab. Um, we're not gonna do those in lab because they're kind of smelly. I don't wanna stink up the lab in here right now. We're going to move on to the solubility of the unknown solid. Again, here, this is what the solid looks like. It's a white powdery substance. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of this unknown into the test tubes. So I'm gonna use a spatula, okay? And I'm going to just put a couple of pieces of this solid, this unknown solid in a test tube. And then we're gonna test the solubility of the unknown solid with ethanol and water. The solubility of your unknown solid with cyclohexane will be given on your report sheet or in the PowerPoint, okay? So I have a little bit, you can see the white stuff on the bottom, that's my solid. And then I'm going to add, we'll do ethanol first. Just looking at it right now, you can just see there's solid, um, solid on the bottom. So we wanna see if those solid, that those pieces of solid get smaller. Do they stay exactly the same? Do they completely dissolve? That's what you're looking for in the observations um, for the solubility of the unknown solid. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm going to shake that up. So this is the um, ethanol and the unknown solid. So I'm going to set that back down and then I'm going to do the same test except this time I have my unknown solid and distilled water. Okay, so we have the unknown solid which is right here in the bottom of the test tube and then I'm going to add some water and I will shake it up and see what the solubility is. So it's either soluble, insoluble, or partially soluble. Partially soluble means it dissolves some, but not completely. Okay, so we'll let that settle for a few minutes. Then we can look at our test tube of the unknown solid and ethanol. Okay, so here is the test tube of ethanol and the unknown solid. So you can decide whether or not it's soluble, insoluble, or partially soluble. So I would say that the solid in there at the bottom is a little less than the solid that we started with, um, but there is definitely still solid inside that test tube. Okay, so this is the unknown, the unknown solid and ethanol. Okay, we probably gave this um, other test tube time to settle too. So this is our test tube with water and the unknown solid. So you can see the unknown solid, it wasn't the bottom of our test tube. Now it is floating inside that water, okay? so. I shake it up, you can kind of see the pieces move around in there. Okay, so um, none of those pieces have gotten smaller. I think there's just as much um, of the unknown in there now that I can see that white solid as when we started. Um, so this is the unknown solid in water. So you can decide whether it's soluble, insoluble, or partially soluble.